Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day of only positive vibes. Guys, a lot of you have been asking for me to give my top five guns this season. So I decided we're going to do one up. We're going to give you guys my top seven guns because there's so many guns this season that can be very viable. And heck, seven is my favorite number, so I decided to do that. But before we continue on with this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Call of Duty Mobile for sponsoring this video. Again, they've been really supportive, and I really, really appreciate it. Anyway, let's continue on with this video. Like I mentioned, this season has a lot of good guns, and honestly, you can use a lot of guns even though they're not in the top seven because it's an smg meta a lot of these guns can still compete now that being said i think these seven guns are going to be really really strong and if you can use these you will probably do really really well in your qualifiers as well as rank quick disclaimer i did not add sniper shotguns or burst guns to this list i feel like burst guns make sense a lot of people don't use them and also it's a high skill gap i like some of them some people don't like some of them sniper shotgun again same thing not everybody uses snipers and shotgun and it's a higher skill gap whereas smgs and ar and lmgs everybody can use them so that's why these list is basically gonna be those three types all right to start it off in number seven we have our ak117 in a meta where it's filled with smg you want a gun that can shoot really really fast while still be accurate ak117 is one of those guns not only does it have a very good time to kill especially in those close range the medium range is not that bad you can actually have great attachment to this to have some great mobility and ads and you can see why the ak117 is number seven for me right now all right, in number six, we have the chopper. This is going to be the only LMG on the list. The chopper did get a buff, but also did get a nerf. The most notable nerf is the close range damage. I think it used to be 30 damage close range, and now it is 25. This only affects like the wall bank capability. However, it is still a really good. It is the fastest when it comes to mobility, and you get 100 mag, and it has a really good time to kill close range. Now, again, the downside is that medium range of time to kill is not as great, but if you use the heavy handle, it is such a great gun. Great mobility you can actually beam people with this i absolutely think this is definitely number six in my opinion all right our number five is going to be a gun that seems to always find its way in the top five despite being nerfed every single season it has been a very strong gun for a while it is none other than the drh the drh was actually probably the top guns a few seasons ago but with a few nerfs it made it not as great however in a meta where it's all smgs you want a fast time to kill and the drh has a fast rate of fire and it also has a three tap potential yes it does potentially do four taps so that makes it not as good as the other gun on this list however it does have decent mobility decent ads and it does shred close range and is definitely one of those better guns on this list and i think it's personally my number five Number four is going to be a shock to a lot of you guys. It is going to be none other than the QQ9. Yes, this was the best gun last season or tied with the best gun last season or based on a lot of people's opinion. And it did get a huge buff the season prior to this one. However, this season that just happened, no buffs, no changes to it. So that kind of affected it a little bit because a lot of these other guns that got buffed seem to be a little bit better. Now, it does have a very good time to kill close range. It does have a great mobility. It does have great damage. Now, the problem is the recoil. It is worse than the other guns is a little less manageable but it does have great mobility so that is a very good gun to use and especially if you can handle the recoil it is a very great one our number three also is going to be a shock since a lot of people might have expected this a little bit lower it is going to be the best ar in the game the as foul personally speaking i don't consider this a ar yes it is an ar on paper but its range its damage feels more like an smg as well as the rate of fire it does have 35 mag now which is really good in comparison to their 30 round mag and not only that the bullet speed got i think increased by four times which is absolutely insane almost feel like hit scan so this gun feels so good in the hand and i actually put this above the qq9 because it feels like it is lasers i can beam people like 10 20 meters that damage drop off will fall off a bit but the time to kill is really really good as being an ar it does still have decent damage in that medium range so i put this at my number three and to no surprise of everybody, number two is going to be the Bison. Yes, the Bison was, in my opinion, the best gun last season. Yes, everybody was going to say the QQ9 was better, but personally speaking, having a higher mag is more forgiving for players as well as this recoil being so manageable. The four tap range of this, if this specific build can go up to, I believe, about 26 meters. Four tap range up to 26 meter makes this the best AR in the game, in my opinion. I know the AS Val we said is an SMG. This is basically 
basically a AR or a mini LMG. It has incredible range, incredible damage, and I like using the extended mag to have 84 mag. You can switch it out if you want the large caliber mag. Personally speaking, I much rather have the extended mag. I don't like losing the 20% damage range. I like having as much range as I can so I can beam multiple people. And also, if I'm potatoing, I can hit four or five people and maybe eventually kill all of them, but this is going to be my number two. All right, I'm sure you guys can guess number one, but before we continue on, I wanna mention a few other guns that could have made the list. However, maybe not enough testings or it's just not as good. You know, we're obviously gonna have the ice shot, which I love a lot. It has great recoil, great range and the damage, but it doesn't kill fast enough. The M4, I have actually not tested it enough, but the amount of times I've tested it, it felt really, really good good obviously i feel like some ars like the bk is really really good the kn is really really good those guns feel really good but it just falls a little bit short under this list our number one will be none other than the qxr and yes this is hands down man down the best gun in the game it got a massive buff to the ray of fire not only that the enhanced bolt also got a buff not only that the damage got a buff so this has also not a crazy recoil like it used to it has a 40 round base mag but i do like using 50 because i'm a potato you can see with this build you can however you want switch out the enhanced mode for the monolithic but this gun is just such a great gun you can laser people it is hands down the best one i do like the bison personally better just because i'm a potato but in stat wise i think the qxr is the best gun and it's not even close and if you definitely want to make it to your qualifiers use the qxr trust me you will not regret it all right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like, share, and subscribe, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about my list. Do you guys agree or disagree? And if you disagree, let me know what is your top seven gun. Or if there's a gun I think should be underrated, maybe I'll do a top seven underrated gun this season or gun. Actually, I did promise I would do a top five guns that you should try this season. So we'll still probably do that. But let me know what you guys think. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.